You know, people do sometimes forget who really runs Japan up here. It's not run by heroes. Hell, it's not even run by the government. No. It's run by us, the villains. Everything that we have done has caused the heroes to do something about it, causing even more damage to their cities. Well, guess what? It's time for that tyranny to get back into where it's supposed to be. Right back in my hands. <laughs> I will once again have power amongst all you weaklings. You seem scared there. Tell me, do I seem intimidating to you? <laughs> you know, if you weren't on the hero's side, I might have saved your life. But, from what the looks of it, you were hanging out with Dynamite there. Or should I say, Katsuki Bakugo. I know of him. Of course I do. I've ran with him a lot of times. He's tried to kill me more than once. And I tried to kill him more than once. <laughs> we have back and forth beef, if that makes it any more sensible to the situation. And that's why I stabbed him with this knife here. To make sure our beef is settled. To make sure that he doesn't get to breathe another breath on this planet. Because, in short, this planet doesn't have much after that explosion in the USA. The mainland, they give all sorts of weaponry and technology for wars to come on end. Now just decimated, and now only just a mere wasteland is left. That's great for us over here, because we don't want to deal with the American Hero Association. Yeah, I'm glad they're all dead, and now only Europe and Japan survive. Only people over here can fend for themselves now. But for the survivors around the USA who've made their way here, they're lucky. Because something even greater is going to happen later on here in Japan. You see, it's all going according to plan. We take over the northern region of Japan. The villains. We take it. And then, with a special agreement with some people down in the southern hemisphere of Japan, they are on our side, and they will help us, no matter what. In exchange of great power that I hold now. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> this all this power... It's mine! <laughs> With all this power, I can control the world if I wanted to.
but I don't want to. I only merely want to control what I can control, which is Japan. And with you here, well, you're just a mere distraction to me and my plan. Just like Bakugo there. You know, our conversation. Don't interrupt me. Unless you want to die here. <clears throat> what I was saying was... Uh, you made me lose my train of thought. You damn brat! Never talk out of line with me again. Otherwise, you're going to die here with your little friend on the floor. Speaking of... Bakugo doesn't look so good. Now does he? I mean, we've been talking for almost about ten minutes now. He lost a lot of blood. I know one of my associates would love it here right now. But she's not here. She's doing something else for me right now. She is on lookout. Alongside with Dobby. <laughs> Did you really think the news tells the truth? Dobby is going undercover as a hero. Wasn't that not obvious, or was his father that big of a moron to actually let him go into the Hero Association? You're kidding. He actually is an idiot. He let him in. He let him in. <laughs> what a fool. It's only a matter of time now for my plan to actually fulfill. Once Dobby finally gets what he needs from UA Academy, I will personally destroy every single piece of it. My quirk was made to destroy, and that's what I'm going to do. I even did it with my family. In killing my own family, it wasn't even a disaster. It was art. An art of death, more beautiful than any type of modern painting that would be made today. My art I need to spread like a virus within the help of my new friends. <laughs> so, run along while you still can, because these are your days. Run! Run! <laughs> Well, torturing that little one was fun. He even left Bakugo here to die. <laughs> Some type of hero. <laughs> Not that he's out of the picture. Why well, don't you and I talk a little bit more about business with your boss, shall we? Of this current moment, I cannot get in contact with my master. But I assure you, with this mission that you laid upon me, 
I will not come back empty-handed.